J just watch. If that's not painful, nothing is. How's it going, boys? Today on Standard 2022, we are playing one of the most ridiculous combo decks in the game. We have played against Izzet a lot, and this is somewhat of that Izzet type of base, but you know, we have no counter spells, and, this, and a couple of things are different. So, this deck is completely the combo epicenter of stuff. We have a lot of treasure generation, we have unexpected windfall, and we have things like seize the spoils. Discarding cards, creating treasure, drawing cards. Then we have the flame painter. This card hits two times, and it can cast anything for free that's in the graveyard. Pretty cheeky, you can already see the implications of this, right? Then we have things like creative outburst and magma opus. <clears throat> and these cards can be discarded for 2-1 and they create a tre treasure token. Yes, yeah, so you can probably see where this is going. Also, we have Seagate's Restoration, Alduin's Epiphany, and uh, the Desert Doom. It's just a good card, so it's there. Uh, the Prismari Dragon, so every uh, every treasure stays, because uh, treasure staying is a huge part of the combo if you're casting uh, double Epiphanies. It's a pretty great, great thing, so I'm gonna keep it. Then we have a little bit control frostbite, cinderclasm, and draconic intervention because you know you you are sacking big costing spells, so draconic intervention is really good. Could theoretically run with three. I kind of tend to stick with two most of the times, but three is a little bit more consistent. So you know you can run with two or you can run with three. If you f if you feel like you're playing against a lot of aggro, run with three. If you feel like you're not playing with against a lot of aggro, run with two. That's pretty much all I have to say about this card. It's pretty easy to get it rolling because this card in card is not hard with seize the spoils and windfall. Plus these things self discard essentially, and the combo is easy. You play the dragon, you have this thing out, you hit, you get extra turns, and then you just... Well, it's like a three consecutive turn self-play win combo in a lot of cases, but it has a lot of potential in on its own, because Desert Doom is just an annoying card you can deal with. Oh, by the way, three Desert Dooms are also an option if you want to play two Draco uh, Draconic Interventions, uh, but that's up to you. I usually play two, and I usually play two of these. I'm gonna triple down because I played a couple of games today, and it seemed like it's a lot of creature decks, so there you kind of go. And with that being said, 24 lands to be specific. A very strong and extremely uh, meme combo deck. It's good even if you don't combo, because, you know, Alduin's Epiphany is one of the most broken cards in the 2022 standard format. And, you know, other things, you know, like uh, Desert Doom are pretty uh, extremely strong on their own. And with that being said, we have a new Patreon to thank today, boys. Duke Duquaney. Thank you. Thank you very much. A 15er. Oh, the biggest steer possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to all my Patreons who support the channel directly. It is great. If you want to become a Patreon, also, there's a link down in the description. And yes, I probably did butcher his last name. Duke? Pretty easy. Duquiney? Pretty hard to pronounce, not sure if that's even the right way. But thank you for everyone who supports. Either it's via the Patreon, either it's via the, uh, the join button, or you just sub and like. By the way, subbing and liking is extremely amazing if you do so. So please do, it helps the channel tremendously. And also, the Discord is free, and you can uh, join it just by looking at the link down in the description, uh, description box. And with that being said, now, without any further ado, let's just get a cracking and see what happens now, shall we? The best part about this deck is that while the combo in itself is pretty huge and complicated most of the times, uh, you don't need all the pieces for the deck to just, you know, pretty much just work uh, as more or less intended. It's gonna have removal, it's gonna have annoying things, you know, to cast. It's it's not bad. It's pretty good all around, even if you don't fully combo. But the full, full combo is like when the enemy just goes like, oh, wow, I didn't have a sli the slightest chance anyway. Um, Cinderclasm. Even though it looks like Cinderclasm could be a little bit more uh, valuable and malleable than some other things. Gonna go like this. 
Okay, next turn is gonna be the Seize the Spoils. Could have saved the Cinderclasm, definitely saving this, because I have a feeling that it could be... It could draw me a lot of cards. What is he doing? Oh, okay, that's not good. Okay, that is exactly the opposite of what I wanted to see in my life. Okay, that's not bad, though. That's definitely not bad. I can cast the dragon. I can get double trouble. I can cast another dragon. So it is a Kaladic deck, essentially, and that's just it, huh? Um, not too happy, not too peachy, but I'll take it. As long as he doesn't play a second Righteous Valkyrie, which is, you know... 80% of the games I sadly play because magic reasons. Um, let's see. Okay. Okay. Uh, live game decks. Extremely annoying, to say the least. Dude, he's just getting another Valkyrie. This game, boys. Did this... Oh, no. He's doing something else that makes sense? No sense? How dumb do you need to be to play a cleric pile and a pirate and get the lead spellbinder? Like, of all the stupid decisions you can do, of absolutely all the stupid, incomprehensible decisions you can do, you put decide to put an elder spellbinder in a cleric pirate deck. Top of the n oh god, it's 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 horrible. <laughs> It's horrible! Okay, whatever. It is what it is, boys. Uh, this card... No, actually... No, there's nothing I can do with that, so I'm gonna keep it like this. Oh, man. How do you fail at the cladding deck so hard? It was simple. You just get a second Righteous Valkyrie and call it a day. It was so simple. And now you're making it convoluted and hard for no reason, my dude. Now now you're just making it hard. Okay, I'm gonna do this because it's an obvious choice. Um, this is uh, this is gonna allow me to control his HP, so, you know, double win, essentially. Uh, do this. This is like quadruple win now. Oh, God, wizards, please say no more. I, 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 I am experiencing the love firsthand here. Okay, so he sacrificed that, gets a 5 cost. Uh, oh god, he's gonna get the red one, isn't- DUDE! Why would you put red in a cleric deck? It's so bad! Everyone who's using the red, uh, red, white, black cleric deck is an idiot. It's just an extra color to add nothing. The 5 cost red thingy is ba- it, It's- it's- it's not better than anything else you can get from just white and black- Oh, why? Okay, boys, I have a Cleric deck. Yeah, exactly, that garbage. Like, Jesus Christ. Oh, that's at least good. Okay, this this is not bad now. I can do something here. Oh, look at that, we can't do anything here, huh? Do I just want to get rid of it? No. Well, I technically could. Okay, definitely doing this, though. Oh, my God. Of all the things you could do, out of all the things that you could do, you just decide to make it put this meme. Whenever another non-token creature you control, exile it. If you do create a to- Dude, relax, chief. Relax. How is this helping you? It doesn't even fly. It doesn't even fly! Your best play is probably to sack him, or hi yeah, your best play is literally just to sack him and see what happens, and get a Valkyrie, even though that's, that's, that's kind of ass, you know? Oh, okay, he chooses to attack? Why? Okay, whoa, so what changes here? Does, does anything even happen now? I just don't even know. <laughs> You, you, you got a righteous Valkyrie, I guess. Congrats. Crippling fear. Well, you're gonna choose Cleric, I guess. Wow, impressive. Not really, though. Okay, you know why it's not impressive? Because I can just do this. And then I can just do this. Okay, I'm admittedly not getting uh, the stuff out that I wanted to, really, because I'm missing one mana, but, you know, it's... it's dude. 
Watch. I'm just not attacking. Uh, you play yourself, dude. You got only yourself to blame for this, I'm not gonna lie. You had a chance. That's a helicopter. Yeah. That's a helicopter. And then not in the board zone, stop it. Oh, dude! How do you make these decisions? Oh no, I'm not gonna be- Dude, I'm still casting everything. Oh, how do you ruin something as simple as a cleric deck, like... Uh, how? What's the play? If I draw a card that kills this thing, by the way, you have absolutely no chance. And there's a lot of things that kill that thing. Exactly what I mean, by the way. Congratulations, it's gone. Uh, what do we want? A Magnus Opus? Probably. Ah, the Alduins. Let, let's go, boys. Let's just go. Oh, lord. Oh, lord. Well, he got a Valkyrie. That's at least impressive. Technically. I'm technically also not actually impressed. I, I'm one mana- well, I'm two mana off. I'm two mana off of playing this. Oh, now he gets this. Dude. Okay, so, this guy had every chance to win. Everything. I I honestly didn't have a chance to win here. But he just decided to go like, Hey, I'm gonna put extremely bad cards in my deck and it's gonna be cool, you know? That That's essentially what happened. Amazing. Okay, dude. Okay, at least I could, like, maybe draw something that is not that bad. Uh, I guess keep it. Um, well, that's a thing. Can I actually do this and that? Oof. Well, yeah, let's just do it. Actually, cancel. First, let me just attack you because I can't- Dude, uh, if he- Imagine a world where this absolute specimen- How much does he have? Four. Four. What's a four cost? This is a four cost. Imagine a world where this absolute specimen did not randomly just pull out spellbinders and went for, you know, actually good cards. Can you imagine that? I would have lost so hard. How do you screw up a cleric deck like this? Oh no! Well, that's your whole turn, I'm assuming. Unless you're lucky. Yeah, unless you're lucky. Oh, well, well, well that's, that's probably the most impactful card I have in my deck. Ubu. Uh, sack it, yeah. What are you gonna do? Go- Dude, you know what? Go for another elite spellbinder. Yeah, go for another elite spellbinder. I know you want to at this point. Uh, how do you- If you have a cleric pyre out, and you're a cleric deck, you should never lose to Is it? It's pretty much like- the. It, it, it's like an impossibility, you know? It, it's just that hard to honestly do. But this guy's just taking it to the next level and- this is just sad. Oh, come on! Stop! And and he's currently using things that actually, like, are completely counter to me, which is also meh. But whatever. D dude, this can be killed so easily. Yeah, you see what I mean? You see, you see what I mean? Okay, do this. Uh... Tap. I guess, I, guess, I guess tap everything, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, wait. Al almost, almost bad. Oh, man. I just can't. This looks so saddening because, you know... Man. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this. I'm actually not gonna do anything now. Well, I am gonna obvious... Oh, no, I'm actually not gonna attack. Do I drop this even? No. There's a chance we draw something. The only sad part is he did get to exile the, uh, the flame painters. Which is kind of like really annoying in my opinion. Because the flame painters are something I don't want to see exiled. Okay, Sag does get a, get another Heliopath out. Just, just do it. That's your only play probably. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Come on. 
We're all friends here. I technically hate you, but, you know, I'm still gonna lie to you about it. Well, implying you're a woman. If you're a man, I'm just gonna tell you that I hate you. Ah, equality at its finest. Okay. Oh, yes. Man. Again. He could have just won the game. If he did... So Wait, why is it... Why doesn't it just want to... I guess it doesn't really matter now, huh? So, yeah, I'm not gonna uh, do that. Okay. Um, yeah, that's... that. That's definitely fine. Well, drawing... Okay, good! We finally did it, boys. It took forever, but we legitimately did it. Do I want to attack? Um, is there a chance he does anything? Hmm. Where are, by the way, all my frost? Oh! He just let that happen, okay. There's no way he even does a play that kills me. And again, I have this. Haha! <laughs> oh, Kaya! Big plays! Big plays! You're gonna minus three her, huh? Yep, you're minus three her. Okay, I don't believe it. I don't believe that there's a reality where you can legitimately just double uh, flame painter me. Okay, what is he gonna do? Oh, he could actually do a lot of annoying things here. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Well, you know, they I, I say annoying, but at the same time, Draconic Intervention doesn't care about your feelings. Especially about that. Okay, so what does he get back? <laughs> oh! He fi- Oh, he actually has a legitimately decent card in his deck. I'm honestly quite surprised about that, not gonna lie. So, let me just do... Do you think he's gonna even block? I don't know. Uh, let's see, what do I want to get rid of? Probably this. It seems like the easy choice. Okay, so everything gets exiled, Ubu Awa. And now Magma Orb deals damage divided by no one cares the amount. And tapping stuff, I guess it doesn't matter what we tap. 2-2. Two, two. You know how previously there was this thing where you could split? All these treasures, by the way, are finally gone, but you know what? It's, it's absolutely fine. Okay, next turn I have two flame uh, painters, and that should be the game. Those two flame painters can't be exiled, they can't be countered, they can't be anything. And that should legitimately be the game. Man, what a matchup. I... Again, you should never lose with Cleric Pyre against Izzet. But... You put just so much unreasonable god- Are you kidding me? If you have a fourth one of these, uh, uh, these verses, I'm gonna scream. There's no way, there's no way. I refuse to believe that there's a world where he legitimately gets to kill all of my- Woo! Not today, boys. Squid, okay. And he surrenders. Noise. Do you know what's the best part about this deck? The deck feels amazing. Other is it decks, you know, the ones that I have played against, and they seem kind of mediocre. They they're like more reactionary than actually manliness. And you know, I'm I'm all about not being, you know, uh, the average is it deck cuck. So this is just perfect. You know, we do what we do, we do when we want to do it and stuff. I'm gonna do it like this, even though it seems like the right choice would be probably playing the Frostball Snare. But it's fine. Okay, because I really want to sacrifice this next turn. We have two draw spells, so I'm assuming this is a creature deck. So, you know, I kind of have a lot of advantages against him. Red is, I would, what is this? Mills? Cards? I lose HP? Oh, say it ain't true. No, wait, he milled cards. Is there a mill deck in standard? Uh, I would honestly be seriously surprised if that was the case. I can't imagine anyone wanting to mill himself, you know? Yeah, it's really hard for me to imagine for someone to willingly mill themselves here. 
Well, okay, it's easy for me to imagine why someone would play that disgusting freak of nature thing. But, uh, I'm just gonna do it. D uh, decks that get HP are really annoying, so I don't want to deal with this. And again, next turn I don't need to sacrifice this. Essentially, we're on 7 man, and we will have a huge combo potential. So this is a Cleric deck or Angel deck. Kind of depends. Haven't seen this color combination being used at all. Oh, it's an Angel deck. Okay, that's good. Okay, this does make sense, by the way, on one hand a little bit. So, yeah. Okay, next turn is Double Windfall, which is fancy to say the least. So, Double Windfall, if he kills this, I am sad noises, but I kind of doubt it. It seems like, if you have Doom Scott, you're probably not playing single target removals in decks like this. So, I'm assuming this is going to be absolutely as safe as they come. So, that's good. Pay life, no one cares, do something. Still, no one cares, amazing. Ah, uh, life. This card, that thing, let's see it. Um, not impressed, not gonna lie. Okay, this card, that, let's see it. Not still impressed, not gonna lie. Uh, do this, okay. Let's just do it a little bit again. Yep, this seems impressively sad. <laughs> I can't even kill it! Dude! Okay, doesn't matter, we have two flame painters. Two flame painters, that's like thrice the amount of flame painters that anyone should enjoy with that. Oh! He just pre a Doom Scar. Wow! Really? I feel like I'm playing against an extremely bad deck. I fe I currently don't feel anything that I need to fear. Like, th one of the biggest things is I saw Lilian. Thank you. Oh no, I just lost 2 HP. One of the biggest things is I saw Liliana get milled. If the, uh, you know, the moment I saw Haunting Voyage plus Lilian, I already could tell that this deck needs a lot of improvement to be, you know, even remotely malleable at this point. Attacking me would have been good because you know if honestly I'm gonna t I'm just gonna t tell you how it is if we're just waiting Should have honestly maybe done that uh, Well uh, He's gonna probably block with that and I'm fine. Well, we're gonna force him to do the doom scott anyway. I feel Yeah Lilian plus Haunting Voyage just doesn't work. Either you have a card that resurrects Planeswalkers and creatures, or you don't have Planeswalkers in your creature resurrection deck. You're splitting your deck on two focuses, which means you need to get a value from Lilian. If she's just a 6 cost removal or a card draw engine and you're using three colors like this, you could have done it in a much more efficient way to say the least. So yeah. Also, you have Binding of the Old Gods, which means Liliana's passive 2, uh, two damage, 2 HP is not gonna probably be that effective, you know? Just do it, Doom Scott. Just, just, just do it. Do it. I hate my life. Is, is this, is, is this gonna be my life from now on? Just, just a bunch of goddamn verses. Is that it? Is that it? Really? Um... Cool? Okay... Is that a third one? No, it's not. Uh... You know, it's time. It's time to step. No, wait, no, no, no. Dude, do I just wait? Currently, our start was amazing, but currently I, I feel like a little bit dry. Like a lot dry. Oh, wait. Let's count. One. One. I thought I saw two. Uh-oh. If I saw two or three Doomscars in the graveyard, I assume that it could be the fact that he has... Uh, a second voyage, and he pre the voyage. 
I'm not getting anything. Okay, I need to save this from when he actually tries to bring back the angels. Because those angels are going to be pretty big and juicy and beefy. Actually, you know what? That's going to be a problem because... Really now? Well, yeah, that makes sense. I don't get a card even, huh? Um... Man! Okay, so... I don't care about that. I can draw a land and I can just kill it if I want to. I guess this works also kind of fine. Uh, Uvu. Yes. And I'm gonna tab these things. Oh, you know, tab these not. Okay, you can unsubscribe. I will understand. <laughs> okay, so. Let's see. Ooh! Pizzazz. Okay, we win. Because there's no way he counter. Uh, he can counterplay against the uh, next. Yeah, that's one of the things I kind of expected, and that's gonna be painful, because he has a one Valkyrie in the graveyard. Yeah, he has one Valkyrie in the graveyard. Honestly, you see stuff like this. That that's legit pain. But at the other hand, boys, you think your boy kids? Uh, watch, what, dude, just, 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 just watch this. You, you can probably tell exactly where his, you know, conscious left the building. Just, just watch. If that's not painful, nothing is. I, I would not, I would not blame the guy if he just conceded right now. I would honestly not blame the guy if he legit just conceded right now. A, fla a flame painted on the board, and, you know, that thing happening. And, you know, it, it's just gonna get worse for wear and tear now. <laughs> God, I love myself. Admittedly, I need to do a lot of damage here, but I do think, think it's gonna be, well, not exactly tremendously hot. One of the things that I'm gonna be do is cast this, because I wanna play this now. And that's gonna make it a lot easier. To just play it now. Okay, do this. And now, you know, just just, just a little bit of this. Just a little bit of that. I completely exiled everything that he owns. So it's completely fine, by the way. And now I can just drop this dragon thingy. Ah, oh, glorious. Oh god, there's a lot of control here currently for us. Exile that because we're gonna get to play it anyway. I guess that's pretty neat. Uh, exile this, and now I can do this. Oh, finally got got the epiphany. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, attack with everything because we can. Do this. You you know, do some wushu noises. Attack. The 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 combo is just great. What 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 else can I say? The combo is just legit overwhelmingly great. And the fact is also next turn. Next turn, if he doesn't wipe all of this, your boy's getting, well, your boy's getting good stuff. Yeah, uh, I don't want actually any to any of this decline, thank you. Okay, so, if he doesn't, if he doesn't wipe the board now with the lucky AoE, it's two, two Alduin's Epiphanies in the row, boys. You you think you can you, you think you can stop me? No. I'm gonna cast one. I'm gonna seize the spoils, discard one, and cast it again with the flames painted. It's gonna be glorious. Oh well. He has done like eight damage with that. Look at this. What a meme. I admittedly I will admire it. It is a meme. Oh, Boy, someone's trying really hard to win here. <laughs> oh, someone's trying really hard to win because that's gonna hit face for a lot. Okay, okay, my dude. Okay. Damn. Yeah, someone's uh, someone's trying extraordinarily hard currently to win against us. But again, nothing wins against the man, the myth, the legend himself. You just can't. Even when Wizards has been on the uh, on the side of my opponents and literally only tried to do bad things to us, I still persevered. I still was completely infallible. I don't know what that word means, but it seems to fit in. 
It, we were unstoppable. It was a joke that someone even tried to play against us. And this is one of those situations. Look at this. Yeah, it, it's pretty good. Uh, how much cards do I have? 22. You know what? For the boys. I'm not gonna deck myself, so I'm not too worried about this one. Also, do we have one more? I think we have one more, right? Yeah, we have one more somewhere. Oh, there it is. Ah, yes. <laughs> He's already dead. He's, he has been dead inside for ages, by the way. But, you know, just in case. I'm gonna do one more. And he surrenders. Easy. Three wins, zero losses, boys. Man, what a game that was. You should never be winning Cleric Pyre with Is It if the guy has uh, legitimately the Pyre odd curve. That should never, ever happen. But, you know, that's what happens when you put bad cards like the 3 1 cl flying cleric in it, and, you know, you add red for me. Oh, God. It's just. Mm. It, it's just the most delicious amount of pitifulness I have, you know, you get to see in life. Also, this doesn't look so bad, because look, I, ha I will have a Cinderclasm. If we're lucky, he's gonna play a single card without haste. And if we're lucky, that single card without haste will not be the. Yes, good. Good. That's exactly what I was actually searching for. Um, the control is off the charts here, boys. Cinderclasm is really good because there's a lot of goblin aggro players. <laughs> but yeah, you're not winning against Cleric. Oh, yes, sirree, Bob. That's exactly what I want to see in life. Uh, but yes, as, as I just stated, you are not winning against Cleric Pyre unless you have a perfect hand and they have an extremely bad hand. Because the moment the Pyre legitimately comes out, uh, by all accounts and everything, you should lose. So that's like one of a million games because, you know, that, that should just not happen. <laughs> that should legit just not happen. <laughs> Uh, and this guy is getting absolutely shredded also because, you know, uh, I do have a lot of AoEs and those AO AoEs are, well, all specifically in the deck just for these type of aggro decks. Like, Cinderclasm currently is extremely underrated, I feel, because it, it's just like, if you're gonna use removal against 1 and 2 cost minions... You might as well honestly just, you know, replace it with Cinderclasm if you can. So, there is a little bit, uh, there. Okay, how do I want to do this? Well, it's gonna be the Magma Sopus and the Dragon, so I'm gonna just drop the Dragon instantaneously. And then we're gonna do other crazy, crazy things. So, first thing is first, we cast this. Why do we cast this? Because that gets, uh, allows us to get rid of the other Magma Mopus. Yes! Everything has already been accounted for, as Wall Street would say. And then we just do this, because, you know, it's also accounted for. Tap. I, I guess tap everything. It doesn't really matter too much. And here we have it. One of the things that I wanted to see. Uh, how am I gonna play this, though? Let's see. I can't. Okay, it's fine. But as you can see, this, this is how the combo looks when it really pops off. Because... Well, you just saw value, and this is, this is it. God, this guy also has nothing. I would like to point out that this guy legitimately has nothing. Admittedly, I didn't get the full combo uh, combo experience, but, you know, he felt it. He felt the disappointment of loss. I hope you like the deck. It is, it is good. The combo is strong, and the combo, well, the combo combos without the combo, even, if that even makes a shred of sense. It is strong, it is great, and it is a fun Izzet deck. And Izzet decks are never fun. But this one is, which which puts it, to, like, so far apart of your average nothingness the Izzet offers. And it makes, it makes just it better. So press that like button. Anyway, this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out the everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.